What we have here is a gateway ZX6971 all in one desktop computer. Uh, this is a client computer. It's an oldie, but as far as my client is concerned, still a goodie. And so we want it to live up to that feeling that the client has. So let's make sure to get it. Okay, this computer currently has a whopping four gigabytes of RAM and a 400 gigabyte hard drive. I believe they came out of the factory with Windows 7. The client has Windows 10 Pro. Uh, the computer is currently functioning, but after a quick look, I let my client know that I could definitely get more performance out of this PC by uh, a couple of simple upgrades. And uh, so what I wanna do is upgrade the RAM. Currently has four gigs of RAM. I'm going to try to get at least eight in here. And I've got a solid state hard drive that I'm going to uh, install on here as well. So I'm gonna clone the client hard drive onto the solid state, install that, and install the new RAM. That's going to make a world of difference uh, for the computer. I'm gonna, at the very least, double the memory and uh, that hard drive is so old, it's making all kinds of noise in there. So even a new regular hard drive would be better. But since I'm going solid state, it's going to be even better. So this should, uh, this should be a nice little project here. And of course, the, the fancy dancy screwdriver doesn't fit in the hole. So we're going to have to go old school and get a standard. Oddly enough, uh, this computer only has five screws holding the case together. The two on the bottom ends and then there's three under this little cap I just pulled off. Other than that, there's no other screws and you just have to pop the case apart. Uh, right here, I'm taking off the uh, CD-ROM drive bay door. It just pops right off. The drive bay cover. Uh, some models of this machine has two screws at the bottom under these little rubber feet here that I'm touching. And you would just have to peel up the foot and there's two screws underneath each foot. There's one at an angle and one facing straight on and you'd unscrew the one facing straight on on the left and you'd unscrew the one facing straight on on the other side under the other foot. This model here doesn't have those, but some models do. So if you can't get it loose uh, when you're trying to take it apart, you might have the one that does. Okay, we've gotten it loose finally. So what I've done is I've taken this scribe and I've just gone all the way around the perimeter of the device until I popped and loosed all of the connectors. And now as you can see, the back will simply lift right off now, as we're taking a look here, this is a heat sink. Looks like there's a fan under this shroud. This is going to be our CD-ROM drive bay. There is our hard drive. And it's a big one. It's definitely a big one. So let's take that off first. Fire pick in here. Okay, look at that. We've got a hard drive. It's a fat boy. I'm going to clone this to a much smaller SSD and I'm going to have to figure out a way to get it to stay in here in this big carriage, but we're going to do away with this. And so let's go ahead and take it out of the carriage. And of course, they put the RAM underneath this massive cover that has a thousand screws that need to be taken off. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started doing that. And as you can see, there's quite a few screws on this shroud. And so I'm just going all the way around it, pulling the screws. 
and once I get them all removed, this will just lift right off of the unit and expose the RAM sticks, the CPU, the, the actual motherboard of the computer. All right, gonna be exchanging these two, two gigabyte DDR3 sticks with two four gigabyte DDR sticks. DDR3 sticks. Mm -hmm. Changing out these two RAM sticks is mm -hmm. basically going to double the memory capacity of this device. Mm -hmm. And uh, this happens to be a touch screen computer as well, all in one from HP. Right. It's not too bad of a machine. Once you set the cover down on the machine, Take our back cover here, it just snaps back together. So you just click, squeeze it till you hear it, everything starts to click and snap. basically walk through the paces with the device first thing I'm gonna do is go inside the system settings right. and make sure that the system can read all of the new RAM that we installed make sure it sees 8 gigs of RAM uh, it clearly sees the hard drive because we have booted up into Windows, so that is a good sign. I'm gonna go through a couple paces, open up some web pages, check out um, the disk usage and the RAM usage. And, uh, and with that tech fam, that's going to uh, bring us to the end of this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you enjoy this kind of content and really general IT content to do with careers and tech talk, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the like button so we can get these videos out in front of those we need to. All right, and until the next video, tech fam, peace.